camera angle for the ball python updates. All right, ball python update. You guys ready? Ball python update. Aloha. So guys, feels like I haven't done a video in like forever. And it hasn't been that long actually. In fact, if you missed last week's episode of Triple B TV, I'll put a link down in the description for it. Great talk by Mr. Justin Jewlander on Antaresia or Children Stimson spotted all the different little dwarf pythons out of Australia. Great one. If you missed it, you should go back and check it out. Again, the link's down in the description or you can click on this little card right here. Today I'm going to be doing an update on some of the ball pythons. But before we do that ball python update, I wanted to open up some of the mail from you guys that are out there watching right now. And I got this box to open up. And also I want to give you a couple updates on things that are not ball pythons, such as where I've been and why I haven't done a video in like four days, five days. It's a long time for me on this channel, five days. Hmm, I should think about that. Five days is a relatively short time in this world, I think, but before I do the mail updates and the personal updates, I'll we'll pull out a snake first so we can get a pre-ball python update. Ball python update. This here is our female fire clown. Look at that beauty, man. She's looking, oh, she's holding on to some cocoa blocks. Cocoa blocks, cocoa blocks. Hold on to them cocoa blocks, baby. Check her out, man. Does she not look phenomenal? Fantastic and amazing. Coming out to say hello to you wonderful, beautiful people right now. Hi, say hi, say hi. Hi. I haven't come up with a name for her yet. Maybe you guys will help me out with a name down below. She's a fire clown. Her mom's name was Lucy. Her father's name was Ricky. If you have any ideas, then please leave a comment down below. Also, I was hanging out with my cousin the other day and realized that he hasn't been on the channel in forever. Do you guys remember him even? Probably not. If you guys want to see a video with me and Cuzzo, leave a comment down below right now. If we get at least like, I don't know, 30 comments down below asking for a video with Cuzzo, I'll go do a whole video with, with my, my cousin. Because I was just hanging out with him on a job that he needed some help on and I was like, well, I need some help too because holidays are coming up and it would be a beneficial, mutually beneficial thing for us to both work together. So I went and learned how to sweat pipe and do a little bit of plumbing or something I've never done before. Always looking for new experiences and if I get to hang out with my family while I'm doing it, great, wonderful, excellent. Also, one more personal update before we get into the mail, I was running around doing other stuff besides that. I've been all over the state and I've done some educational shows since the last video I made. One of which was at another elementary school. It went very well and uh, really excited to get all the kids stoked on the animals out there and the kids are super excited. Looking forward to doing a lot more of those. We did actually just book all of the libraries in the county for the summer. More and more shows with Roman Reptiles, so pretty excited about that as well. And uh, of course, we've got the Anaheim show coming up real soon here. I hope you guys are all coming to that. Gonna be the biggest show yet. If you didn't know already, it's gonna be huge. <laughs> Reptile Super Show is the largest reptile expo in the world. Now located at the Anaheim Convention Center in a three acre building, this is gonna be the largest reptile super show ever. Check out reptilesupershow.com and get your tickets today. There, there's a little half bit commercial that we, we put for Rami. Supposedly, I guess that thing's gonna be all over KTLA and all kinds of places. So that's fun to have a video that I made getting out there so much into like regular TV, that's that's kind of fun. Kind of wish I had done a better job on that now. Rami likes it though. All right, real quick mail time. We got this one from Mr. Scott Govia, my buddy over there in Springfield, Illinois. That's a hell of a picture for your, <laughs> that's quite the picture, my friend. That's, that's a hell of a picture for your sticker. Look at that picture, guys. And then we got from Dylan Smith up in Pacoma, Washington. Dylan Smith, D's Balls and Exotics. Check out them stickers. Ooh, those are scary, man. I'm going to hide these things under my bed. Here's one from Elite Exotics BP right here in California. My buddy John Wiggins, Elite Exotics. Look at John's sticker there. Very nice. He also just told me about his old herping spot right here in Atascadero, so I'm going to have to go and uh, explore that. Thanks for the little tip, John. Also, if there are any of you guys that want to see your stuff opened up here on the channel, there's an address down below where I accept all kinds of things. And if I get something, I tend to open it up right here on camera because who doesn't want to see that? Send something to somebody, it's nice to see them open it up, huh? Last thing to open. I'm very excited about this. I know exactly what it is. I've been waiting and waiting for this thing to come back. Probably why I haven't done a video in a while either is because I've been wanting to have this back fixed. 
I remember when I crashed on the one wheel? It doesn't seem like that long ago to me. I still feel it in my shoulders. Oh, with a fresh brand new screen since the screen, oh, screen protector's off. That means I can set up a second camera angle for the ball python updates. I can put one right down here and we can get a different shot just of the snakes. You guys would not believe the amount of work to get this camera set back to the way that this one's set. They completely did a factory reset on this. Just be glad I didn't bring you along for that because it would be completely boring. All right, ball python update. You guys ready? So these three snakes are going to my buddy Chris Ward and his boy Nick over there in Canada. So it doesn't matter if I mix them up because they're all going to the same place. And these are all pastel clown het pied. And one is actually a pastel enchi clown het pied. And these guys are pretty stoked to be getting these. I'm stoked for them to be getting them. Uh, these are some beautiful snakes. I was considering holding back one of them, but hey, you know what? Christmas is coming and I figured I've got what I need to make more snakes over here like this. And I, I am just, uh, I'm really happy to see him go to these guys. Chris and Nick, I don't know if you guys are part of the same, the reptile ward, if that's both of you guys. Let, comment down below. I'll pin your comment. Let us know what's up with you guys. People can come check you guys out. I was really happy with the number that we agreed upon for these these badass snakes here, so pretty happy. But I just wanted to show you guys because this is probably the last chance you guys get to see them before they leave here. You remember when they hatched out, but they're looking no less phenomenal than the day they hatched out. If you recall that that holdback video we did, look at these beauties, man, going to Canada. Our first international dealings. Very awesome. Very very awesome. I'm really happy and these snakes couldn't be going to some better people I, I i love knowing where my snakes are going it's it's a huge uh comfort for me to know that i'll be able to keep updates on these these beauties as they grow up and i'd love to keep them all now here's one that i'm actually going to be keeping this is a enchi clown 100 percent head pied from the same clutch and this dude is looking phenomenal and really good and all the other great things that you could say about anything in the world he's looking great Take a good gander. And he's got uh, genetics from a different father than the girl that I'm planning to put him with. And hopefully we get some NG Clown Pieds coming up here in the near future. That would be sweet. That's really what I'm after. I want to see the Enchi bring back the pattern on the pie to help without with the thing. And then Enchi Clowns are great. And Enchi's just great in just about any combo, I think. But for future plans way down the road, this is going to come in handy is working the Enchi into the Clown Pied project for myself. People have done it already and it looks amazing. I'm really happy with how it came out. So I'm going to continue to pursue what I've planned to been pursuing, planning to been, and which is not speaking the English language. And here's one more from that same clutch. She, he, he is actually going to our friend, Rachel. Here you go, Rachel. Rachel, look, Rachel, it's your snake. Doesn't he look so nice? That was so fancy fresh. Yep. And uh, guess what else, guys? Uh, remember when I was complaining about the audio a lot? With my backup camera, I wasn't able to use this thing. And now I can plug this thing right on top of the mic and we go walk around and I can have great audio. <sighs> Sometimes I just feel like I, I, I should chops, chops trying to speak. We're doing all visual from here on out. <laughs> you don't you don't understand how much work it took in post to get the audio sounding like I wasn't speaking into a tin can. It was a lot of work. I'm looking forward to not having to work so hard to make it sound good. So I know you guys said it sounds fine. It sounds great and shut the hell up. But fact is, it took a lot of work to get it to sound that good. So thanks anyway. Whoa, scared of the camera. I know, I know. This isn't a ball python. Oh, python. Oh, it's not a ball python. I decided to make her part of the ball python update because she's uh, she's got a bit more. She's like a ball python. She's chunky. This is our hold back girl. Uh, Droplet. I've decided to name her Droplet. One of Sangria's baby girls. Look at that little blood python. She's a ma Matrix blood python. Looking absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. And she struck the camera there real quick. The camera's putting off a heat signature and she was like, what is this coming into my face? But she's actually calmed down a lot. Don't let that strike fool you. She's actually, see now she's moving around a little bit more curiously and she's not like super defensive. That's actually the first time she struck in like weeks, so she she hasn't been doing that. It was just, she got a little surprise coming right out of that that tub and right up to these lights and then that camera. But you see, she's got this nice little curious thing going on. She's just checking stuff out. She's coming along nicely. She's a perfect example of the, she was, if you remember, if you recall, she was actually the most feisty snake in the entire clutch. 
had the most uh, defensive attitude and was just really, really striking a lot. But she's working herself into a nice, calm demeanor here. And that's what we like to see. She's going to be nice and beautiful and handleable for children before you know it. Well, I mean, my kids handle her already, but I mean, anybody's kid will be able to handle her by the time I'm done with her, right? Anybody's kid. That's right. All right, all right. I know it, I told us the ball python update is turning into an all python update. I apologize. It's kind of. This is our little children's python, Lucky. She's been hanging out with lots of kids at the educational shows, uh, being a real surprise when I say, you guys ever seen a python before? And I pull her out and they're like, I thought pythons were huge. So she is from the Antaresia complex. Uh, if you guys, that video that I recommended at the beginning of this video, you go check it out and learn out about all about these little children's pythons and spotteds and all the gorgeousness that's happening over there. I don't know why I'm having such trouble getting this camera going, but okay, come on, let's see her. Let's see her in her full nice. Come in over here, light, get a little closer. You know what? There, there, there. There, not there. Come on. <sighs> Working with a shallow depth of field, the, the lens, you get some beautiful shots, but sometimes it's just a real struggle to get things in focus. Like the struggle to get things in focus with this shallow depth of field is just ugh, not impossible, just, just highly unlikely. <laughs> Come on. Yes, somewhat in focus, thank you. Lucky, ladies and gentlemen. All right, one more non-ball python for you in our all python update. This is our carpet python, Holly. She's doing fantastic. Caramel coastal carpet python produced by my buddy Travis over there at Living Legless Reptiles, link in the description. And she's doing great. She's looking good. She's beautiful. She's, uh, as Travis promised, carpet pythons are like ugly ducklings when they start out, at least compared to like a ball python that starts out extremely colorful. As a baby, carpet pythons seem to do the opposite. They start to color up as they get older. And she is looking great. As always, that, that head stamp is just phenomenal. Come on, come on. Let's get all you in there. I feel like I'm making this really hard for myself. Look at her. Her head stamp, though, has always been really, really impressive to me. That was when I first picked her up, I thought, that's a great head stamp. But getting her to look down is also going to be impossible. Carpet pythons like to go up. Let's see if we can get down here. Yep. Uh, head stamp, please. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Ah. All right. Well, that's it for us here today, folks. I hope that uh, you enjoyed that all python update. See you at Anaheim at the Anaheim show. I'm going to go hang out at the Cambria Christmas market with my family, and you guys have yourselves a great day. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Ta-ta for now. Yeah.